Hello, hello, I am Darkness, and welcome back to The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. We are on episode two, which is actually titled Ties That Bind, part two. Uh, it's the first time, I guess, the reason that they released two episodes from the get-go was that they pretty much made a storyline and an arc that was so dependent on each other, all the parts needed to come together to tell a cohesive story that they didn't want to break it up into... Uh, you know, different time frames, like you're coming back to it in a month or two when the next part's released. So that's my figuring on whatever's happening right here is it, like we're picking right back up. I'm figuring that's what's happening. Uh, ties that bind part two. Uh, Mari's dead. I decide to stay behind and fight. Clem told me not to throw the pipe bomb, did it anyway. Uh, I'm gonna say one thing before I start it, and that is that in between, I took a little break. If you can't tell by the fact that shirts off and things like that, uh, not this shirt. There, there's another, whatever. Um, two things. One, my biggest critique of the closing to season three kind of came to fruition, and they better fix it. Um, I thought it was a bit a bit bold of them to go with five different endings for the last season, and you get three different cutscenes pretty much. Uh, because the five different endings could really be summed up as, well, nah, it's four. They give you the four. Okay, there's a fifth, but meh, it's not, it's kind of whatever. So, um, they, they kind of sum it up into, were you with Edith? Were you with Kenny? Were you with Jane? Or were you alone? Um, and they just give you a flashback, and the overarching thing is like, I was with uh, Edith, so I have a cut on my cheek. If I was with Kenny, I would have had a uh, cut on my head. Uh, and uh, Jane, I don't fucking remember if anything happens. Oh yeah, the brand on your hand. You pretty much get a tattoo. Uh, by yourself, you lose the, uh, the, the ring finger. Um, if you guys want to see all of those, when I have some time here right after the holidays, I'll go back and play and show you guys all the different diverging storylines that you can get out of this. But I, what I said in kind of my analysis of the uh, ending to season two was, I don't want it to be a footnote. I kind of, even so far as to say that maybe episode five has two different endings, depending on what you decided in episode, uh, like, you know, season three, Episode 5 maybe has two or three endings, and the only way you get to them are your choices from Episode 2, because the vastly different ways Clementine can approach the world now. Um, also, I'm convinced as Jesus in Episode 3, so I'm excited about getting to that. But uh, the other part is that in between and transitions, uh, when the game is loading, I'm not going to talk anymore and choose that as my talking time. Why? Because I, looking back at the footage, there's something wrong with the PC version right now, capturing it. It makes my webcam and the screen flicker green and cuts out my audio and makes it sporadic. Uh, so I'm just going to avoid that by just skipping all the loading screens. Sounds like a good plan, right? Right, let's get into season, uh, to episode two. So, please tell me Lee Everett's saying previously on The Walking Dead. Please tell me I need to hear his voice right now. It'll warm my heart. Not in this game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Lee? Damn it. Ring is off. Please, let me do the dishes. That's the least I can do. I'm crashing here. Crashers clean dishes. Where did brother go? Your family. Besides, if they're not clean the right way, David becomes a big baby about it all. Oh, so he's still here. I'm a pro at this point. Well, then tell the big baby to get in here and wash them himself. It's not a big deal. No, nah, I know you don't mind, but I, I won't be here for too long. Just, you know, gotta get back on my feet a little. You're right. I don't mind. But David does. Is that it? Maybe a little bit. No, actually, forget I said that. That wasn't for me to... Just forget it. Sorry. He's always talking about how I'm never around, and then when I'm actually here, he acts like he doesn't know me. It's complicated. But look, he loves you. You're his brother. He's got an odd way of showing it. So where do you think you'll go? Don't know. With what happened, I'd be amazed if I could get a job assistant coaching T-ball. You'll land on your feet. Well, here's hoping. 
I could use a fresh start. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just travel around, you know, see what's out there. Wanna take me with you? Well? Kate, come on. I mean, you know that's a bad idea. Of course I do. I'm just messing around. It's just hard to say no to a fresh start. I always wanted to go to Norway, see the northern lights. But you'll be jet setting and I'll still just be here. Oh, oh god damn it. Oh Ooh, shit. Quick shit, run shit, underwater. Shit. Well, that was David's army glass. Army. Oh, he's gonna be so pissy about it. I can hear him already. Oh, it's so annoying. Just blame me. Well, he'll buy it. I'm the idiot fuck up, right? That's true. Exactly. There you go. See, much better. He's gonna walk in on that. What was that noise? Guys. Hold on. Hello. My CEO gave me that. And unless you want to dig up his fucking corpse, he's not going to give me another well, why one. Why don't we get an actual dishwasher? Oh, here we go again. Then you won't be on my ass anytime there's a spot on a fork. Excuse me? If we could even afford a dishwasher. It is just a glass. It was important to me, Javi. A glass? We don't see your ass for a year. A year. Then when your life goes to shit, we're expected to drop everything and roll out the red carpet. All for Prince Javi. And now you're gonna start telling me how to talk to my wife? This isn't about him. Really? He's the one standing right there judging me for something he doesn't understand. You don't know him like I do. Always judging everyone. Except himself. You know what? You're right. It's none of my business. No. It's not. I'm sorry about the glass. Really. It's fine. It was an accident. Don't worry, I can handle him. He's just in a mood. Trust me, it won't last. Yeah, I'm weary. Mm. Hello. Hello, Dick Screen, I can't trust you. Moods have a tendency of lasting a little longer than you'd want them to. It's not ever just a mood. Shrapnel is going to be the problem right now. Whoa! Hi there! Shit! Hey, Clem. Thanks. Hey, hey. Take it easy. What happened? They got away. Oh, God. Mariana. Take it slow. I already dug a grave for her. Thank you. Clem found someone to care about again. Clem clings to people because she doesn't... She instinctually is not the little girl who believes everything will be okay because Lee's around. Once he died, she became jaded with that. So I'm gonna trust that Clem's gonna stick around a bit. This was my fault, Mariana. God, God damn it. I'm so sorry, honey. Javi, thank you for staying. I think you probably saved my life. I couldn't leave you alone. That's because you're a good man. I'm not good enough to save her. You bought your people time, though. That counts for something.
13 year olds shouldn't have to think like that. Just. Alright, so where am I? Where do I push it? <sighs> hey, hang on a sec. She carried this around for years. Glad I never put the batteries in too soon. <sighs> Good people have a habit of dying. I don't just say that. I, there's got to be something in you that breaks. I'm sorry I never found you those candy bars. I think it broke in Clem. You deserved just so much more life. I think, uh, I think if when people can say good people, they usually are talking about people who have held on to something that in a world like this will get him killed and does get him killed. And it's sad to say that, but I want to play devil's advocate and immediately say, then what hope is there for humanity? But you're seeing the, you should have been the one burying me some someday, someday far away. Yeah, it's a hard hole to fill in. He did that really fast. You did everything you possibly. Glad to see they're not all Glocks. I believe those are, that would be a Sig P226 that Clem has got. And he's got a Breda M9A1. Hooray for upgrades. Question him. Actually, what's that mark on him? Wait, wait. Okay, I'll sh I guess I'll shoot him. What's that mark on him? The other guys had this too. Oh, shit. What? Well, what's wrong? She knows. She knows these guys. Clem. <sighs> shit. I've run into these guys before. Who are they? Please. They call themselves the New Frontier. Title drop! They used to be decent people. Now they're something else. This brand they have. It's like an initiation thing. I was kind of stuck in their camp for a while. Not by choice. It was bad. I'm lucky to be alive. What do you mean, stuck? Were you a prisoner? I got out. That's all that matters. Did they do something to my Clem? They left one of their cars behind. That's something at least. Good. Did they? Just like you always wanted. Did they really do shitty things to Clem that- I can take you back to Prescott. Make sure your family's okay. But then I'm hitting the road. You should stay with us. Let's just get back to Prescott. Clem's right, though, to feel like that. She has seen so many die. Over and over. Weird how he let her get in the driver's seat immediately. But I guess she's becoming a better driver now, so... Practice under a belt. Cloud, you're not gonna be able to save. Okay, there we go. You're back. How's Kate? Uh, she... Just came out of surgery. Eleanor's still with her. You'd best get over to the infirmary. You made it back. Wow, you gotta act pissed right now? She asked for you. You know. 
I got here as soon as I could. Those guys didn't go down without a fight. And then... Mariana. I managed to stabilize her. Those bastards did her one favor, at least. Any lower, and that bullet would have torn her stomach lining as well. Sepsis, though, if you could Boy just game. close it off. He seems really fierce. He wanted to help so badly. He practically forced me to let him stay. That's Gabe. But she was bleeding so much, he... got overwhelmed. So when's she gonna be up on her feet again? Mm -mm. She's stable. For now. But she's still bleeding inside. I don't want to lie to you. It's probably just a matter of time. I... I wish I could do more. So you're just giving up? Not at all. I'm just saying. There's nothing else I can do right now. I'm sorry, Javi. I'm going to get cleaned up. You may want to find Gabe. He looked pretty upset when he left. This isn't going to make him feel any better. Still. I'll track him down. <sighs> Gut shots. Okay. So movies will teach you everything wrong about how people die from gunshot wounds. Except for one thing, when people do drop and it's as if they have dying breaths and they and they seem like they could have held on from where they got shot but they they go they're actually going into shock and it's actually called what is it called death mode or death thought or the thought of it's pretty much that they've told themselves that what just happened to them should kill them so their body starts a reaction as if it is killing them um with that said even a shot to the heart will put you down, but will keep you alive for 10 seconds until you bleed out and lose consciousness, give or take. Um, uh, but a shot to the gut, um, you can survive for a long time and be in a lot of pain and be terminal. That is actually very true. They, they did their homework on that one. Um, and talking about getting into the stomach lining, if uh, they had hit the stomach lining... You have the acid to deal with, and you also have the idea of sepsis setting in very, very fast. That, with a real surgeon, could be fixed, as if you just open her up, pretty much drain what's going on, and uh, uh, pretty much take the stomach out and attach the esoph esophagus to the intestines, you'll recreate a new stomach. Your body actually recreates a new stomach every three days, I believe. Your, the hydrochloric acid actually does eat your own stomach. Uh, it's not like you have a set one your whole life. It's just that it recreates it so fast that as the hydrochloric acid is burning through it, your your stomach lining is covered by mucus, but is also sloughing off. What? So anyway, it shouldn't be a surprise that internal bleeding and whatnot. Gut shots you can live for for quite some time if sepsis doesn't sh set in, shock doesn't set in, a death sequence, any of that, bar any of that, lots of pain though. A lot of fucking pain, and it's not just the pressure of being shot, it's gonna be real aching, keep you unconscious, out of pain, pain. Um, if you are conscious, then you've got some mental fortitude that you need to share. How's she doing? Not great. As well as can be expected, yeah, considering. You should have come back with us. Your family, they needed you. Clementine needed my help back there. She could take care of herself. Your family, they were the ones who needed help. What could I have done, Trip? Shut help up. Situation. Just know I'm praying for you. All of you. And whatever happens, you all are welcome to stick around in Prescott. If that's what you want. Nobody's gonna force you, but we'd be glad to have you all here. I'm not gonna make a decision like that without talking to Kate, so... I'd rather check in with her when she's feeling better, you know? Sure thing. Let the lady weigh in first. No. Way to stay hopeful that there's a possibility. I know Trip drove like hell to get Kate back here. You did the right thing. Clem, Clem was speaking the truth. They, without having cover, they were going to be in a lot of trouble. Take free samples. I just saw that sign. Look at that. Take free samples.
No, you don't have to look around. You didn't steal anything. It says take it right there. Just don't take any more than that. I went a plane just like this to a baseball game in Arkansas once. The thing, go. the thing that makes me upset about the idea of somebody telling you death is impending is that uh, hmm. doesn't look super sturdy. How how much can a normal person truly prepare for death? Normal people don't really cope and prepare for death. They handle it when it gets there, which is hey. You seen a kid come through here? Blood all over his hands. Dark look on his face. Hit it off that way, without saying a word. If I were you, I'd give him some space. Just my advice. One parent to another. Wish I could, but uh, I don't think I can. Okay. But he sure didn't seem like he was in the mood to talk. That blood, I take it that wasn't his. His stepmoms. You gotta stay strong for her. Do whatever it takes. Know if my friends seen we're in the same situation, I'd fight like hell. Anything we can do to help you out, just let me know. I uh, appreciate that. Your boy stomped off towards the front gate. Um. You know, I'm gonna say for people who were bitching at me right before I left because I killed a guy. They really are being fairly nice. I'm gonna look over here real quick. Um, oh, there's an invisible wall. This is as far as I can go. No, no, oh, no. Yep, hit the invisible wall. All right. No, whether people, there's, there's not really preparing for the idea of someone's here one day, uh, issues with the bottom of the gate? For someone being here one day and someone being gone, unless, like, it's old age or an ailment that's gone on for a long time, but something like this, you can give them hope until there's no more hope left. Gabe? Gabe, come on. Look at me. I want to go back and bury Mariana. We buried her. It was peaceful. How could it have been peaceful? Mm. I know how much you miss her, Gabe. I miss her too. And Kate, she needed me during her surgery. She needed my help. I just ran away like a stupid little kid. If I'd been there, I probably would have run too. Especially after watching what Mariana went through. I don't blame you for not being able to handle it. You shouldn't have run. No matter how hard it was being there. You I'm just done feeling this way. Feeling powerless. I can't be some helpless little boy anymore. I need to be a man. Just like my dad was. He knew how men were supposed to act. You're already a man, Gabe. I'm not. But at least I know it now. Next time, I'm not gonna sit back and watch. I'm gonna do something. I have to. Listen, Gabe. It's a good way to get yourself killed, and... Are we about to have a no-shit moment? Sounds like we're about to have a no-shit moment. Get inside! Now! <sighs> the easiest way. Make sure Kate's ready. You can count on me. Easiest way to get yourself killed is to get reckless with emotions. There's always a time for that kind of stuff. Hey, Clem, where were you? And where's the car? I thought you kicked our ass out. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Really? Shit. He was one of the men at the junkyard. These are those freaks that brand themselves. Clem was right. 
I wish we hadn't had to come all the way out here, but unfortunately, Badger here says you attacked his man. He says you fired on him. Took out a lot of our people. They shot first. They killed my niece. Shot a woman in cold blood. How many of my friends died because of you, huh? Sounds like a bunch of he said, she said shit to me. Well, what the fuck do you want? An apology? What I really want is for my dead buddies to be alive again. But I don't think that's too likely, is it? He needs to come with us. Answer to justice. Accept his punishment. Men have got to have laws. Otherwise, we're no better than the animals. Let's just talk this through. It ain't so simple. Fact of the matter is, you stole from us. You killed some of us. Give it up now and get down here. I think they need a little incentive. <sighs> Fressy! <laughs> you hurt her, I'll kill you. Whoa. You didn't tell me you had a hostage. Don't be okay, baby. I love you, baby. All right, baby. Just... Just give them what they want. There's no reason this has to get ugly. But we ain't leaving without what we came for. She's innocent in this. You don't have to drag her into our fight. I don't have to. But I kind of want to. What? Mercy! <laughs> oh, my God. Now get your ass down oh here. Or I Please. cut off the rest of them. What the hell are you doing? Javi, please, man. Just just go with him. You got to. You'll kill Francine. Nobody's giving in to them. We should start shooting. No fucking way. He'll kill Francine. He might kill her anyway, Conrad. We gotta risk it. No. Uh -uh. Javi's no a good guy. Not open fire while she's down there. And I would go down cool. too. I'm coming out. I'm all yours. Thank you. Me neither. Clem's gonna open fire. <sighs> Good man. Let's lock him in the truck and get the hell out of here. I don't want to wait that long. What? Jesus Christ. Come on. I want to see him pay for what he did. We had a deal. You asked for me to come down, and I did. Yeah? Well, fuck the deal. Yep. Saw that coming. <laughs> Shit. That escalated. Oh, Are they really what gonna? The fuck? We don't have the go ahead. No, fuck you. Fuck the go ahead. Ram the fucking gate. With walkers. So the one guy dealing with me to take me back to the camp was actually Jesus the Christ. the one level-headed one out of them. Who would have known that the fucking asshole was a level-headed one? And that's just a few walkers. Whoa, hello. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be your friend. Let's talk about this. You don't have a lower jaw. You weren't much of a threat. Go, man! I'll hold these assholes off! Mace, but ten times worse, and it really hurts to breathe. Yeah. 
Grab your knife back. Hold on, gotta, gotta, gotta stab this woman. Saying tear gas is brutal is beyond. Head east. We'll catch up. Where's Clem? Oh shit, they overran Prescott? Assholes! Damn it. Why is it? I'm getting t tired of that trope of there always being the asshole. I mean, I guess there always will be, but I'm just getting tired of the idea that... I feel like I've seen this played out in The Walking Dead already. You know, that's actually part of why I enjoy the current series. Not just the other car. Looks like we're okay. In the comics. That's why I, because it finally changed it up a bit from this, but it's always, I mean, why? I hope they fucking find out that it's like... Eleanor, I, thank God. I'm hoping there's a twist to this. I can't believe it. All of our friends, all those people. Oh, Conrad. I'm sorry, comrade. You're sorry? You're sorry? You're the reason they came to Prescott in the first place. Just there because of you. Conrad? Easy, buddy. This wasn't his fault. Bullshit. Francine? Prescott? All because this washed-up cheat walked through our gates. I should have known it the second I looked at you. You ain't gonna stand up for nobody but your own. Wheat? We just lost someone, too. So, say what you have to say. What? That's supposed to make me feel better? Calm down, Conrad. Please. All I know is, if it wasn't for him... Back the fuck off, now! Yep, that would be the reckless thing Just I was scared of. Take it easy, son. Gabe? No, this isn't necessary. What are you talking about? Y yes, it is. I told you. I get that you're trying to help, but this isn't how you do it. Just do it already. I don't even care anymore. Just put it down, Gabe. Come on, kid. You kill an unarmed man, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. You hear me? Don't touch my uncle again. Fuck me. Gabe! Let him go. He just needs to cool off. <laughs> we have to go back. We have to bury her. I wish we could, but Prescott's overrun. We can't go back. Well, we're not safe here either. What about Richmond? I've heard there's a community there. If it's true, they'll have food, walls, maybe even a hospital. All I want is to find the motherfuckers who did this. They took my home. They took my... God damn it! The one thing we all need is a place to call home. Maybe Richmond can be that place. Richmond? Huh. It's something, at least. 
<sighs> yeah. Fuck it. Let's go. That's a spirit, man. Huh. Maybe they'll hit it off. No. I don't know if it's healthy for Gabe. I remember being that age. You need someone else to talk to that understands what you're going through. There's two different experiences. On, we got a long drive ahead of us. Clem, Clem knows what the adults are going through. Gabe, I, they didn't give enough backstory, but I don't think they're on the same plane for talking here. Just the same age, which isn't quite the same for this. What can I do for you here? I just, I feel like I'm burning up. Shit. And I'm dying of thirst. I got the water bottle. When did I take the cap off? When did I put it back on? Isn't good. How's her forehead feel? Yeah, it's not. And the burning up. Uh, hot. Hot. She's dying. Fuck. It's probably sepsis. sepsis. Sooner we get to Richmond, the better. What did I say? Oh, sepsis. Oh, God damn it. Well, it really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I never knew you were the self pitying type. Hey, when you get shot in the spleen, I think they give you a self-pity pass. Javi, we both know what's coming. Kate. We do. And this is gonna sound fucked up, but maybe this is my chance for... Christ, I don't know. A graceful exit. Not many people get those. I'd be one of the lucky ones. You can't talk that way. Hey, it's my deathbed. Just think about all that's happened. Mariana died, and I couldn't stop it. And Gabe, I heard what happened when we stopped. Isn't it obvious? Look, he might be turning into David. He might be turning into you. He's not that sweet little boy I first met. But maybe this is better. He just needs guidance. And a lot of it. I hope so. All I care about is him becoming who he needs to be. And it's gonna be on you to make sure that happens. No, ma'am. I'm not buying this I'm dying shit. It's on both of us. You're buying it whether you want to or not. Oh! Hey, careful. Sorry. You should get some rest, Kate. We all should. Really. With pleasure. Ugh. Parents just love pretending the rest of us can't hear. I wouldn't know. And that's exactly when... You realize their their scope is really far away from each other. Yeah, sepsis. Yeah. Part of what makes Clementine's story so tragic. Go try to look up her last name. And see how hard that little statement hits. Great. What now? I've got some bad news. So what's going on? So there's probably an abrupt cut. And that's because as I was playing, I was kind of thinking so much that I didn't um, get around to like thinking of the end point. So with that said, this is me kind of telling you, like the abrupt cut is, is there. Whatever I just cut it off for, sorry. I didn't give you a warning that that was going to be the end of the episode, but that was it. So, whatever I cut it off on, you're just going to have to watch the next part. I'm only splitting it up into two parts, as it only took about an hour and some change to record. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Make sure you come on back and watch the next part, because I've already played it all. It's fucking fantastic. Come on back.
I hope to see you back here really, really soon. Bye!